TV, baby. Gang, gang, gang. And if it's your first time here, it definitely won't be a last issue. Kill, murder, and smash. That subscribe button, man. She Hulk, smash. We are back with the third episode of She Hulk. On the last episode, man, we see that she is now with, I think it's like GH and K or some shit like that. Some, yeah, GH and K and L. Yeah, no, it's GLK yeah. okay and H, Associates. And she is some a, alphabets. She is a lawyer at the Super human law division mm. at first she didn't really want the job she well she needs the goddamn job she needs some money but she didn't want the job because she felt like she only got the job because she's she hulk and then they were like yo your first person that you're gonna defend mm. is known other than abomination abomination person that tried to kill her cousin man mm -hmm. she thought that it was a conflict of interest it wasn't gonna work out but when she went and uh, spoke to him emil blansky at the uh prison he got her to believe that Damn, maybe you're not as bad as I thought you were. Maybe, mm. maybe the United States finessed you. Maybe, maybe there were some things that happened that you're not as bad. You're not a terrible guy. Nigga said no high cues to people. She spoke to yeah, he said no high cues to people. <laughs> then she spoke to her cousin uh, Bruce Banner, and he was like, "Yo, listen, man, I don't give a damn. Mm. Do what you gotta do." She called up her office and was like, "Listen, I'm gonna take the job. I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna take on Emil Blansky. Hundred percent. It's in the bag. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna get. A, I'm gonna get him to get his parole. We get him out of there." Then. Turns on the news and we mm. see that uh, Emil Blansky over here is fighting in the fight clubs. That yep. is abomination. There's another abomination. And he said he didn't actually you. like turn. He didn't want to turn into abomination no more. He was like, I made a decision. I'm not doing that no more. So we see that that might possibly be a lie, man. So let's see what happens on episode three of She-Hulk and how Jen Walters handles this new situation that just arose for her. Uh, season three, The People versus Emil Blansky. Woo. Yo, Hulk about to do his Planet Hulk thing. That's why. Yeah, you see? You okay, yeah. my face that you never turn into the abomination anymore. No, I said I choose not to. What? What? Because I was forced to leave myself. That's what I, I was, was thinking. Of my own free will. Who somebody could have made him escape. The sorcerer supreme of the mystic arts. Huh? Wong? Wong. Yeah. Wong. Just Wong. <laughs> Just Wong. <laughs> He got a Facebook. I know you can't wait to see Wong. I get it. Uh, I just want to make sure that you don't think this is one of those cameo every week type of shows. It's not. Oh, okay. Thanks. So he's not. Remember whose show this actually is. I got you, baby. I got you, baby. <laughs> it reminds me of a Marvel sci-fi. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't care what anybody says about me. There's something in this country called due process. And people only care because I'm representing Emil Blonsky. Once that's over, this whole media circus will die down. Mm -mm. What kind of office does that have any Red Bull? Why is Dennis here? Dennis! No, what? Not Jen Walters. Can't talk to a tenant about embarrassing man stuff. She oh my goodness. Yo, he's I wild. He's been defrauded by an ex-girlfriend and wants to file a suit against her to get his money back. To pay off her Volkswagen for socks. Subscribe <laughs> why the superhero. Her OnlyFans. The girlfriend in question <laughs> is a shape-shifting light elf from New Asgard. Oh, damn. To be fair, I thought I was dating Megan the Seven. Yo! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this show's funny as shit. Wow! Hey, let's go, Wong! I really need to take this. You may go. Thank you. To fight a worthy opponent as part of my training to become Sorcerer Supreme. And as Sorcerer Supreme, I insist that he not be punished for my actions. That's not how it works. I am not the one who will be punishing him. The parole board will not release him after seeing this video. I'm not erasing everyone's memory. Mmm! <laughs> Spider-Man. Yeah. How much money and cash and gifts did you spend? Wants to have an ad How about fifty thousand? Yeah. What? Whoa! Hundred thousand? No, it's more like one seventy-five. This nigga. Nah, he threw a bag on her. I'm gonna start building your case, and I will be in touch, Mr. Lukowski. Making a sign, imposter. I'm gonna drop the case. Wait, wait, wait. Just now? The just... truth is. I think somewhere deep inside, I knew, you know. That's I her. That's tape shifter. Hey man, I think somebody told my cyber truck. You're saying it was a handicap spot 
He got a cyber truck. This dude got money. You guys know me. You guys know me. <laughs> the alleged prison escape. We do have a witness who is able to clear Mr. Blonsky of any wrongdoing on his part. I have changed emotionally, physically, metaphysically, spiritually, <laughs> metaphysically, cosmically, into dimensionally. <laughs> what Mr. Blonsky is trying to say is that the man you see before you is not the same Emil Blonsky as before you. If Released. Would you have a place to live? I got seven places I could live. Well, actually, he plans to open a meditation retreat on the property, which is very, you know. And how does Mr. Blonsky intend to fund this endeavor? Currently in a long-term committed relationship with several pen pals, um, all of whom have pledged to financially support him. Excuse me? If I could... My boy got game. My <laughs> boy a G. <laughs> pen pal program. Yeah. <laughs> he leads daily guided meditation and yoga for the prisoners. He saved you from a bad marriage. <laughs> I release you, Linda. How do you call? <laughs> okay, we're, we're done with call. Yo, where's Wong guy, yeah, bro? Where is Wong? What is he doing? There he is. Yeah. <laughs> what the? Runa is the daughter of an elfin diplomat on Asgard. As such, she has diplomatic immunity. She may have That's a good song. immunity in New Asgard, but we are not in New Asgard. Asgard is not a place. It is a people. Therefore, Thor's inspirational speeches are not admissible. Uh, <laughs> one of those cases no rational adult would have believed my client's texts were from the real Megan Thee Stallion. <laughs> Damn. We going to trial, baby. When this is over, I'm canceling my Hollywood hookup subscription. <laughs> Yo. Process. I'm changing my ruling. <laughs> oh, come on, Runa. It's getting a little broad. <laughs> Impersonating a judge is illegal. Get down from there. <laughs> Yo, what? I and that makes it even worse. I would have dismissed like, the case right there. <laughs> He wants to be with his better ace. Neil Blonsky, but I mean, when Blonsky uncontrollably becomes abomination, isn't he a raging monster out for blood? Oh no, absolutely not. Hang on a sec. He's gonna no, no, no. be able to control himself while he's abomination. Like turning into abomination is not gonna help the case. But he's gonna talk as like regular. Yeah, but it's scary. You yeah, I feel like... it, but he's gonna show that he can control himself. Nah, I feel like it frightens him more than anything. Like, though we're not gonna let this out to the people. This proves that in every instance, Mr. Blonsky could have broken free, but has chosen to remain in his cell. Mm. What? He deserves a future as a free man and a productive citizen. Attorney at law. You realize that you've just admitted to facilitating a prisoner escape. That's what I was thinking. Is a crime. I must define. <laughs> you got me fucked up, bro. I cannot wait for this to be over so I can go back to being a normal, anonymous lawyer who also happens to be a hawk. You are sorry now. Oh my god, you're pregnant with the abominations, baby. You're watching a little baby. That's who the father is. <laughs> yeah, fuck Dennis. Terminally deluded. I call him gross. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you be willing to say that under oath? How would you characterize Mr. Bukowski in relation to his romantic life? Self-absorbed, chauvinistic, conceited. conceited. So make him believe that he was really with Megan. As a New York ten and an LA eleven. 
It's been stated many times in this courtroom that a man of reasonable intelligence would never think that he was being the real <laughs> Megan Thee It's a good play he's going to. Damn, they saw her, they like a yeah, uh, hundred yeah, times. She came up, she came up, bro. Logically entitled man, he would absolutely believe that he's dating the real Megan Thee Stallion because he is truly that delusional. No further questions, John. Hey, they won the, they about to win the case. Look, he's sick. I will award full damages to Dennis Bukowski in the amount of one hundred and seventy. It works. It works. <laughs> <laughs> She came up, bro. It's gonna be big if she wins this case right here, bro. Every superhero or superpower person is gonna go to try to represent him. His record, we hereby grant Mr. Blonsky's release on parole, effective in Yeah! Oh, why? Just stay out of the news. That's all I ask. I, I don't want to read any more stories about you, either. But... They might want to reconsider that. I mean, they're gonna write a story about you one way or the other. That's a big part of it, That's true. <laughs> the high profile nature of this case and the fact that you yourself are a Hulk has catapulted you into the public eye. So tell us, how did you come up with the name? She I did it. Oh, funny story. I didn't. Great. We have to take a break. When we come back, <laughs> she <laughs> shares her diet and exercise secrets. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, you got Who me scared for a second. She's like, wait, I'm not just a regular person. I'm not a regular person. Oh, oh shit. Is that as guardians? Are those our as guardians weapons? Oh, they're the wrecking crew. They're way more lit than this. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. They did them dirty. Unless they end up turning up later on, but like right now they're doing them dirty. Mm -hmm. but <laughs> oh shit. I wonder who's the boss. Kill her shit. Woke up this morning, I feel so bad and important. Mm. I looked in the mirror, I'm different. I finally made a decision. As soon as she typed in the pandas, she started living life in the present. Mm. That's a reflection of her right now, though. It was like, I think she just fully accepted, like, well, nah, you know, I'm fully she hog and shit like that. Just, just your signature there. And then just. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hey. she all she all got a fatty, yo. Hey. I will kill for you, man. She was getting that shit. Wait, big, little wait, yeah, wait, big, little wait, body, got, got, got. Yo, Evan, twerk. Hey, yo, come on, man, come on, my G, uh, yeah, come on, show. my G. This show is really, this show is really, really good. Like, it's really good. It adds a perfect amount of humor. The humor definitely fits. The character in the show, I do like the caveat. I do like that they're reflecting on the we the wrecking crew because I'm like they look like Asgardian weapons. I'm like, oh shit, that's how they got their powers mm. from Asgardian weapons. So it's it's dope that they kind of reflected on the wrecking crew. I don't. I wonder. I'm curious to see if they're gonna actually make them look as lit that they, as they are in the comics. But that shit was dope nonetheless. So. It seems like they're gonna expand on it because they said yeah. that like, yo, I wonder how the, the boss is gonna feel and shit like that. Mm -hmm. So I think we're going far, further to find out who, who's the person that hired them and so on and so forth. I really like the concept of the show. Like the cases are fire. Like, cause th this is how it would be if we had superheroes and stuff in this world. Like they would have to be trials. There would have to be some sort of precaution for them. And I feel like even the way she won her case, like I feel like she's represented for superheroes in the light. And I feel like it's reminiscent to of uh, these times and stuff where people that usually don't have that type of representation. Now they haven't. We have a lot of working females in the workforce now. A lot of female lawyers and stuff, and I think it's good that they're representing this in She-Hulk and the fact that they connected to pop culture of putting at one of Evans' favorite artists. He says the best female rapper he ever listened to, Megan Thee Stallion. She's not so my favorite. I know you stop am. It, stop it. She's not my favorite female rapper. But shout out to Megan Thee Stallion. She is. Here you go. You put me on to Megan Thee Stallion. Yeah, now nah, you did. That's definitely I, you put me I'm on I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. <laughs> I just don't think she's the best female rapper of all the time. But yeah. she, she definitely twerked the best act. <laughs> Yo, man, now this is a dope episode, man. Uh, this show is interesting. It's, it's super different from a lot of the uh, Marvel shows we've seen so far in the terms of, like, how much comedy and how different it is. Like, the Abomination is an interesting uh, character in this show in particular. Like, he might be the biggest pimp in Marvel history. Bro, he's not the Abomination. He's a male bug feeder. What's it again? 
Blunt. Blumpkin. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what? I'm like, what? Emil <laughs> Blumbly. Blumbly. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know what Blumbly. you just call him right now, Blumbly. bro. He's a new citizen of the population right now. He's a part of us right now. We have to accept him for who he is, my nigga. With him and his seven soulmates. They, roll, they roasted the shit out of that man, Dennis, too. Fuck yeah. Dennis. Dennis is a, Dennis bitch, a bitch, bro. He is. He reminds me a little bit of Pat. I would love to. I would love to have um, Emil Blonsky of the Abomination have a talk with Top G Andrew Tate. Yo, <laughs> the, the fact yo. that you know he can have maintain seven different women. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I would love to hear him talk talk to him about that shit, yo. Um, and I, I love how in tune with the culture, She Hawk is, is presenting itself. Like yeah. from playing Eve last episode to having Megan D Stallion. D, yeah, yeah you know what I'm like that. I feel like. Uh, Evan's favorite. It's catered yeah. to our demographic a lot, and I really appreciate that, and, and it's hilarious. Yeah, like the that. humor is top. It's I, this is the funniest I'll show. It, this might be better than Seinfeld already. Hell, nigga. Damn. The fuck? Damn, they didn't cancel them, nigga. Huh? Damn. So I need to cancel Ev? No, I said Seinfeld, man. They, they didn't cancel them, man. They got 100 they and up. something episodes, my nigga. 180 episodes. You get That's episodes. cool. Yo, quality over quantity. Bow! Every episode was quality, my nigga. Woo. You haven't watched the whole series, bro. I actually have, bro. You didn't watch uh, the whole Pat series. Is crazy. You yo, didn't watch Pat. the whole series, bro. Yo, Pat, Pat, please. Yo, you Pat, didn't watch stop. the whole yo, Pat, series, yo, Pat, nigga. Pat, your stop. dad did. You didn't yo, watch Pat, the whole please. series, I watched, nigga. Yes, I watched Don't the take whole. credit for your father. I've been father. watching Seinfeld my whole life, bro. I watched yeah. it. I... Un, like not even by choice. That's why I'm like, yo, like nah, nigga. Like trust me, nigga. I watch for since my dad's been watching since the night, like since it was debuted till now. Nigga. Nah, you was walking. You was watching Walker Texas Ranger, nigga. Um, you was watching all that, that shit, nigga. nigga. You Seinfeld still gets played to this day. To bro. this day, I know. Yeah, so what are you talking about? It might be the best Marvel cutscene all the time I just seen today. I ain't gonna front. I just had to think about that. What a twerk? Body, yeah, 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 yeah. Favorite rapper. I understand why you feel like that. She like, said, I will kill Evans for you. Megan, no matter what. Yo, Robbie, yo, say it with your chest how you feel about Megan, my nigga. You got, you got something against I honestly, her. I, just I, just I, say it. Just yo, say it, my nigga. Just let him know you don't like her. her. I feel like, yo, she should have gave, um, she should have acted more in this. And she likes anime. She don't like Marvel. So I feel like she's just hyping. Hype beast them. So, yeah, that's how I feel. How you know she don't yeah, fuck with Yeah, how you know she don't fuck with Marvel? So, you're saying because we fuck, an, fuck with anime she and talk, Marvel, she nigga. Don't talk about it. She only talks about anime. Damn, bro, you mad, bro. Damn, nah, what she did to you? The truth. I, now, you tell the truth. How you feel about everything going on with Megan? I love Megan this time. Yeah. We already told you already told him I love Megan. <laughs> well, yeah. You, you it preached again? it for him. Yeah, yo. you preached it for me. You feel me? I rock with Megan. Yeah, Shit, chill. me. Chill, bro. You gripping that brush, man, hard. Yeah, yeah. Why yeah, well, she made you that come mad, on, yo? Come on, yo, it's so nigga. good, yeah. bro. Yeah, Mo G. Yeah. Trying to say he don't, she don't fuck with Marvel and shit, yeah, nigga. Yeah, like, you ain't watched all her interviews. My boy nigga. said, Rob, Rob said, I know her, yo. I know yeah. she's faking the phone. I never seen her post anything. I actually followed her and actually looked at her. She, I really don't hear her talk about Marvel ever. So that's why I was kind of shocked. If it was an anime. Man, I would have been like, oh shit, that makes sense. She on she on route to become an uh, anime character, my nigga. My Hero Academia season six. Wait, trust me, I look at her Instagram. I trust me, I do. Wow. She looks I, good. She looks good. I wish it was my phone that was on stage when she twerked on that shit, yo. That shit was sick. Nah, I got to watch it, so it's like technically. But then it could have been she right always bad in her, so I don't care. Nah, you know who's bad in her? That girl that was I'm uh, not gonna do it. That she walked into the office with white black shoe. Nah, she was pretty. She was bad. Cute. But man, another dope episode of She Hulk, man. Make sure y'all keep it locked. We are officially caught up, so we're going to be live on this next episode with y'all. Make sure you have that notification bell ringing. If you want to see all of our full reactions to She Hulk, please head over to our Patreon right now. Patreon.com backslash up. RTTV. I mean back. Huh? Dial it back. I don't know what Megan said. Dial it, she said dial it back. Dial it back out. <laughs> yo, hey, yo, don't put your hand at it like that. <laughs> but yo, patreon.com backslash RTTV underscore, man. If it's the first time, it definitely will be a last week. Shoot, kill, murder, and smash. smash. That subscribe button, man. I go back and get you. Dial it back. <laughs> I just remember something that Robbie said before. <laughs> yo, it's the man, the, myth, the yeah, maniac. Robbie sounds terrible about Megan. Nah, it's about man. himself and shit. It's, it's, it's a man, the myth, the maniac, Wilkins on the score RT. <laughs> so he's thick. Patrick RT. <laughs> it's your boy, Wells, the anime <laughs> king. It's your boy, Rob C, the RT. Shout out to my boy, Evan. You know he's saucy. <laughs> Yo, man, that's it. Who's it at? The Round Table.